Okay, so basically, it's a sick patient coming for a major surgery, a lot of uh, uh, sort of other functional disturbances apart from the liver dysfunction itself. There can be cardiac implications, there can be respiratory implications. There is a problem due to the coagulation and also due to all the other uh, drug handling and other factors which we have already seen. So the next thing we'll quickly go into is the preoperative assessment of these patients coming for liver transplant. Okay. So what is the aim of our preoperative assessment? One is you confirm the indication, of course. Secondly, rule out contraindications. This is very important, especially in the transplant. I'll come into it in the next slide. Assessment of the severity of the liver disease. What I'm trying to say in this is, what are the decompensation this patient has, whether it is cirrhotic cardiomyopathy, does the patient have HPS, does the patient have portopulmonary hypertension or hepatorenal syndrome. So we need, that is the meaning of assessment of severity of liver disease. And of course, like in any pre-anesthetic evaluation, assessment of comorbidities and their severity, Anesthetic assessment like your airway examination, your other, uh, if there are comorbidities, the extent of those comorbidities will have to be assessed. Our review of investigations and review of all the consults once we have sent out. Okay. So our indications would be acute liver failure due to hepatitis A, B or drug induced or whatever. Cirrhosis from chronic liver disease could be autoimmune, cryptogenic, a lot of uh, uh, causes can be there. Metabolic disorders, malignancies, alcoholism and miscellany. So these are all the indications. For us it is important. The indications will be established by the surgeons, by the hepatologists. But we need to keep in mind that we make sure there are no contraindications. Okay. So what are the absolute contraindications we look for? First thing is sepsis. Now sepsis is a contraindication because these patients will be put on post-operative immunosuppression so that they accept their body accepts the new liver that has been put into their system. So, if there is sepsis, this immuno, uh, like uh, these drugs will reduce the immunity and worsen the sepsis. Okay. So, the drugs which have actually been given to accept the new liver will worsen the infection and the sepsis which the patient has. Metastatic uh, malignancies is uh, HCC per se, which does not have metastasis into other systems can still be transplanted, but if there is evidence of metastasis, it is an absolute contraindication to liver transplant because the prognosis of the person itself is guarded with a metastasis. So, it is unfair to subject a donor to a donor hepatectomy to put a new liver into this recipient who already has a metastasis. Okay, Severe CCM because as already mentioned, the transplant uh, surgery per se has a lot of hemodynamic disturbances and this patient may not be able to withstand all those hemodynamic disturbances when they have CCL. Photopulmonary hypertension or pulmonary hypertension per se because they can have a overt right heart failure during transplant. Unresolved alcoholism because they have had, they have uh, sort of had liver failure due to alcoholism. If they are unable to abstain, they will start drinking again and probably jeopardize the new liver which has been given to them and of course brain death because it's not going to help them and you're also denying somebody else of an organ in case it's a disease donor and relative contraindications would be cholangiocarcinoma, portal venous hypertension and psychological instability because it's not just a surgery which you're doing over a you know 10 to 12 hours and then the patient goes out and has a new liver no this is a lifelong commitment they will have to have immunosuppression they will have to look after themselves prevent infections, prevent complications from happening. And unless a person is psychologically stable and he has a good infrastructure and backup at home, there is no point of giving him a new liver. Okay. So let's move on to uh, physical examination. As you have seen in all cirrhotic patients, we do a general physical examination. 